Yo, what's up guys, Kevin here. Today I'm out riding at Stevens Pass and I wanted to talk to you guys about the LibTech Orca. So I've been waiting quite a while to do a full powder review on this board. I really wanted to test it out in the best possible conditions. And over the last few weeks, I've been lucky enough to ride the Orca in Niseko, Japan through some of the deepest powder I've ever ridden through. So I think I've got a pretty good idea of how this board delivers in powder conditions. So right off the start guys, the thing that really makes this a great powder board is the larger nose. So with good pow boards, a good powder board will have a smaller tail to help the tail sink and then a fatter nose to help the nose float. So this shape, I really found that riding in Japan, the larger nose helped the board to float. Another thing that helps this board float in powder is the rocker between the bindings. I've tried a few powder boards that are full camber and I find that with the full camber, it makes it more difficult to keep that nose up, but the rocker in between the bindings really helps this board to float, to keep the nose up, and just to ride pretty effortlessly through the powder snow. The other thing I love about the Orca is the camber zones underneath the bindings. So the camber zones really make this board feel lively. So as I'm doing a drop, as I'm riding through trees, those camber zones under the feet really give me a lot of pop and a lot of control. So especially on landings, I really feel like the camber on the back foot helps me to get an ollie. And then the dual camber zones really help to land a drop and ride it out. Another thing that helps this board land in powder is the tail. I've tried a few powder boards that don't have a tail, have the swallow cutout, and those are really fun for surfy powder boards, but for powder boards where you wanna land a drop, I really feel like having a tail helps you to land the drops and just gives you more control, especially with riding at high speeds. Having the extra bit of tail helps you just have that bit more control for riding at high speeds, and you feel like you have a tail that's gonna have your back through those conditions. So this is actually my second LibTech board. Last year I had the 2019 Orca and a size 153. The smaller size I think is great for doing quick turns through powder and it's still wide enough to help you float. But this year with the 2020 Orca, I got the 159. And that larger size, I think is better for going at high speeds, for helping to land drops, and still very maneuverable through the trees. So it's a bit of personal preference. If you prefer quick turns through the trees, I'd go for a shorter size Orca. If you like riding at high speeds, big open bowls, landing drops, I might go for a larger Orca. This year I also threw on the Now Drive bindings, which are a stiffer binding. So something to go with a stiffer, harder charging board is a pair of stiff bindings. That way, if you're plowing through powder at high speeds, these bindings are gonna have your back and they're not gonna flex out too much. That stiffness is gonna transfer your movements into the board, giving you that all that response that you need. So overall guys, the LibTech Orca is definitely my favorite powder board. The reason I speak so highly of it is because as I'm riding through powder, I actually feel like it's making my powder riding even better. And I definitely felt that in Japan. So whether I was hitting a drop, I felt like I was landing more stuff than usual, or just riding at high speeds through the trees, I really felt like this board was helping me to ride at that pace with that performance. And definitely I felt like the board was helping to improve my powder riding. 
I don't know if this is actually the best powder board around. There's a lot of personal preference out there. It'd be great to hear from you guys in the comments. What is your favorite powder board and what are some of the boards that you would recommend to your friends? Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe and like. I'll put a link to the LibTech Orca in the description below if you want to check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have fun with your snowboarding. See you the next one soon. Thank you.